Hi my friend, my name is Dan Hammer and I want to thank you for taking a positive step towards improving your health. In this video we're going to learn how your endothelium and its ability to properly produce nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system, directly affects your blood pressure. But first I need to help you understand a little bit more about your blood pressure readings so that you can see the relationship. As I shared with you in the previous video, your blood pressure consists of two numbers. Your systolic pressure, which is the first reading taken, it represents the head force of your blood as it pulses through your arteries. The second number recorded is your diastolic pressure, which represents the resting force of your blood. This resting force is needed to properly return blood to your heart and help it adequately fill. On the screen I've placed a chart to help you understand the general guidelines your physician looks at in determining if you have a blood pressure concern. As you can see by the chart, if your blood pressure is 120 over 80 or below, then you have normal blood pressure. If your blood pressure is 120 over 80 or more, then you have some concern depending upon how high above these numbers your reading is. If your reading exceeds 140 over 90, then you have high blood pressure or stage 1 hypertension, and you need to take this seriously. If your reading exceeds 160 over 100, then you're in a very dangerous category and you need to seek medical intervention to help bring it under control. Given these numbers, it's important to understand some of the contributing factors for seeing an elevation in blood pressure. As I said in the first video, high blood pressure can have multiple causes. This video cannot address all of them, but let's look at several major contributing factors. We first need to start with your arteries. As you can see by the slide, arteries are made up of three layers. The outer layer is mostly connective tissue to provide support to the inner two layers. The middle layer is smooth muscle. This smooth muscle contracts and expands to facilitate circulation and maintain optimal blood pressure. The inner layer is called the endothelium. It's only one cell thick and it protects the integrity of the entire cardiovascular system through a wide range of biochemical actions, one of which is the production of a gas called nitric oxide. Nitric oxide acts as a signaling molecule. This means the body uses it to cause something else to occur. Damage done to the endothelium directly affects your body's ability to produce nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. Because nitric oxide is an environmental pollutant and a dangerous free radical, most researchers discounted nitric oxide as a benefit to the workings of your body. However, the 1998 Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three American researchers who discovered how your endothelial cells convert the essential amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide, and how nitric oxide relaxes the smooth muscles of your vascular wall to improve blood flow. At the Nobel Awards ceremony, the presenter of the Nobel Prize made, the, made this statement to the three American researchers. Your discoveries concerning nitric oxide as a signaling molecule in the cardiovascular system lifted medical research into a new era. And Dr. Louis J. Ignaro, one of the three Nobel laureates, had this to say about nitric oxide. Nitric oxide can prevent, even reverse, heart disease and stroke. Since its discovery, much has been learned about nitric oxide's role and how it helps you with your overall health and wellness. For example, nitric oxide regulates the muscle tone of blood vessels to have a major impact on controlling your blood pressure. Nitric oxide stops blood platelet cells from grouping together to form a clot. This helps prevent heart attacks and strokes. Nitric oxide helps the immune system fight viral, bacterial, and parasitic infections as well as tumors. For men, nitric oxide causes penile eruptions by dilating blood vessels to help prevent ED or erectile dysfunction. Nitric oxide helps to transmit messages 
between nerve cells and is associated with the process of learning, memory, and cognitive function. And nitric oxide promotes vascular reparative mechanisms when injury occurs, and it's one of the keys to reversing atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries. In relationship to your blood pressure, your endothelium plays a major role in regulating the smooth muscles of your vascular wall to contract or, ex or relax as conditions in the bloodstream warrant. The most important factor being the production of nitric oxide, which is a powerful vasodilator. This means that nitric oxide diffuses across the endothelium to directly affect the smooth muscle, causing it to relax. This allows the artery to absorb the head force of the blood so that your blood pressure doesn't become too high causing damage to the endothelium and vascular wall. While there are many ways to damage the endothelium, it typically centers on four major factors. Smoking, high blood pressure, elevated blood sugar levels, elevated LDL or bad cholesterol. Cigarette smoke contains many powerful free radicals in addition to nicotine that directly damages the endothelium. This means that cigarette smoke not only damages your lungs, but it also directly damages your heart's vascular system. High blood pressure also damages the endothelium. The constant pounding of the blood against the vascular wall damages the endothelial cells leading to microscopic tears and injury. Your body's reaction to this is to cover it up with scar tissue that can lead to plaque formations. These plaque formations can build up over time which narrows the vascular opening to reduce blood flow. Reduced blood flow means the heart has to work harder and more forcefully to push blood through your vascular system. This usually leads to an increase in blood pressure. Elevated blood sugar levels cause oxidative stress or damage to the endothelium. This reduces their ability to properly operate and is one of the reasons why 66% of Americans with diabetes also have high blood pressure. Elevated LDL or bad cholesterol can also directly damage the endothelium leading to injury and plaque formations. It's one of the reasons why your doctor monitors your LDL cholesterol so closely. As you can see, there are multiple factors that can cause daily damage to your endothelium, resulting in injury, plaque buildup, and a decreased production of nitric oxide, all negatively affecting your blood pressure. Add stress, a poor diet, and a calcium imbalance, and you have the makings for poor cardiovascular health and high blood pressure. Stress because it creates tension in the muscle groups which causes capillary beds to constrict. This increases the resistance to blood flow causing your diastolic blood pressure to increase which negatively affects your systolic blood pressure. A poor diet which limits the vital nutrients your endothelium needs to repair itself and properly create nitric oxide. A calcium imbalance which moves calcium out of your bones and into your vascular system leading to the calcification of endothelial cells and hardening of the arteries. This directly affects blood pressure in a negative way. As you can see the health of your endothelium is critical to the management of your blood pressure. Unfortunately most pharmaceutical drugs do not address this issue and most standard methods of treating blood pressure do not address this issue. Yet it's key to helping you regain control of your blood pressure and reducing your risk for cardiovascular disease. You must properly nourish and repair your endothelium if you want to improve your body's ability to maintain a normal blood pressure and reduce your risk of cardiovascular issues. In our next video, we'll specifically discuss how you can naturally improve the health of your endothelial cells through nutrition. If you have any questions about this information or need to contact me, then please either email me or call me directly. My contact information is listed on the screen. Or contact the person who turned you on to this video series. We're part of a team whose mission is to save a million lives. Thank you, 
and I'll see you in the next video as I share with you vital information on how to properly repair and nourish your endothelium for improved nitric oxide production and all the benefits this brings to your cardiovascular system and its ability to better regulate your blood pressure.